Coming up on Community Connections, Dr. Seville and I will talk about vaping. We in Pinellas County Schools are introducing a new policy, and we already had a tobacco policy, but now we're finding because the cases have spiked for, for vaping that we needed a school board policy. My fear is that people see it as punishment and not education. So what types of things do you say to families if they find their children are vaping? What advice do you have for parents? Well, we kind of look at it two ways. I mean, you can talk about the laws. We do know that a law has changed just last month that makes it illegal to have any of these substances when you are under 21 years of age. Mm -hmm. But we want to talk to people about the dangers of vaping that we believe is infinitely worse than even smoking cigarettes. So now we're going to take some questions from our students at Largo High School. That's wonderful. Yes, I was just wondering what are the exact effects on my friends because they like to vape just for the flavors and say that there's no THC or nicotine in them and I'm a little concerned about that and just want to know. You bring up a lot of great points. You know, society for some reason has decided it will tolerate vaping more than cigarette smoking because of the smell. It isn't as offensive. People smell something that smells like a perfume or like a fruit and people look the other way. So let's talk about the fact that you mentioned nicotine. You bet there's nicotine in all vaping solutions and other compounds that we do and don't yet understand because there'd be no reason for a company to make such products without putting something in there which makes you come back for more. Yes, um, if cigarettes and vaping are so dangerous, why are they still legal? Well, first of all, a law changed last December, not even a month ago, that made it illegal to sell, possess, or use any of the products of which you are speaking when you are less than 21 years of age. So essentially no one in high school or other schools should have any of these products. So you ask about why they aren't illegal. Well, I ask you, why aren't cigarettes illegal? You know, people who make items that are very addictive and addicting stand to make millions and even billions of dollars and they have very strong voices in Washington and other places. And you can imagine how difficult it is in a country that was founded on personal freedoms to change law that takes those personal freedoms away. Um, what is vaping associated lung injury? And if I vape, does that mean I'm gonna get it? You know, we talk about cigarettes increasing the risk of cancer and emphysema and all that. And we talk about vaping, having nicotine and other solutions in, uh, chemicals in the vaping solution to make you addicted. But we never really saw with cigarettes people who smoked one time or a second time and then just died. But we're seeing this with vaping, first of all, because we don't really know what's in the solution.